Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapnuski, and thank you so much for dropping by my channel. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a thumbnail in LumaFusion, and it's crazy easy. Okay, so some of you might be saying, listen, she already taught us how to do a thumbnail, what's going on? And if you're saying that, that means you're one of the handful of people that actually made it to the end of my original LumaFusion tutorial video. And that was over 20 minutes. I don't blame you guys. That was crazy long. I've done it myself. I tune into a video, find out what I need to know, then I peace out. So this is for those of you who didn't make it to the end and need to know how to make your thumbnail. So before you even hit record on your camera, you should have a basic general layout of what your video is going to look like. You should plan out any B-roll that you're going to film and also plan for your thumbnail. So when I hit record on my camera, the first 10 seconds of that video is going to be of me striking poses. So either smiling or doing this. I could always drop a picture of the product or I could do something crazy like try to hold it above my head. It's probably going to look so stupid, but that's what you need to do. Just pick out a little piece of that video and make your thumbnail from there. So let's go ahead, jump into the overhead camera and show you how it's done. Okay, I had to turn off my hair light because it was causing a glare in the screen, but let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing that we want to do is we want to launch a new project in LumaFusion. So let's go ahead and hit the plus button at the bottom of the screen. That's going to bring up the project manager. We're going to hit the plus button again, and now we're just going to call this whatever we want to, want to name it. Thumbnail, we'll do it at 24 frames per second because that's what I always do everything in. Okay, now what we want to do is take either your picture or the video that you're working with to get the thumbnail from. So let me go ahead and just drag a video in here. And what you can do if you have a video is just basically scrub through it and find a portion of that video that looks good to you to use for your thumbnail. So what I'd like to do is find a picture where I'm smiling or look like I'm smiling or just look okay. Alright, that looks good. So let me double tap on that. That's going to bring us into the properties window of this particular clip and what I want to do is just do a little bit of color correction to get it to look its best. Okay, now I also made a specialized LUT for my in-studio stuff. Okay, that looks good. All right, so the very next step is that we want to take a snapshot of this source preview window and how we do that on the bottom right hand side of the screen we're going to hit the share button right there and this is going to give you options and the very bottom option it says snapshot so let's go ahead and hit snapshot now what that has done is taken a snapshot of the source preview window and sent that over into our photo roll so let's go ahead and retrieve that from our photo roll and there it is so now what I want to do is just send this to my iCloud Drive. Here it is. And we are just going to open that right back up in LumaFusion. Okay, so what we want to do now is get rid of that video. So we're going to highlight it and delete it. Now we're going to grab the snapshot that we just took and drop it into the timeline. So now you have to decide on the aesthetic of your thumbnail. Are you going to be like Peter McKinnon, Matty Hopoya, and Potato Jet and just have a regular plain old picture? If that's the look you're going for, then guess what? You guys are already done. You just take that photo from your photo roll and use it with your YouTube studio to get that as your thumbnail. You're done. But let's say that you want to add some text to your thumbnail. Let's go ahead and teach you how to do that. Okay, so what we want to do next is perhaps add some text. So we want to go up to the file folder. Now we're going to hit titles. This is going to give you a selection of already made little templates for you to use as titles or as your thumbnail template. So let's just go ahead and pick something 
Let's go ahead and use this and then we just drop it right on top of that photo. So now what we want to do is double click that and that is going to bring us to the properties window of the title. So we double click on the script and then we just want to hit in what we want to name our video or a description of the video. And don't forget, we can always change things. We can change the font of that. We can change it to, and there's a lot of cool looking little fonts that LumaFusion already has. We can also change the colors here by going to the color wheel and dialing in any color that we want. Go ahead and use that. Can change the size. and we can move it anywhere that we want to move it. Okay, let's say that that looks good, then I want to back out of this. And now you can see there is going to be the text overlaid onto your photo. So the next step is going to be to hit that share button one more time and take another snapshot of that source preview window. That's going to save that to the photo roll. So let's go back to the photo roll again. And there it is. That is going to be your thumbnail. And that's what you can go on to YouTube Creator Studio and input, you know, hit edit thumbnail photo, and it's going to immediately get that from your photo roll and you pick which one you want. And that's basically it. You're done. So as you can see, making a thumbnail is the easiest thing in the world to do. I thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, wear your sunblock. <laughs>